If you use electricity, you use copper. And as the world continues to modernize, demand for copper is only going in one direction, and that is up. While we have a lot of copper mining in America, I traveled to the world's largest copper producer, Chile, to see how they mine in South America. After a few flights, we ended up in Anafagasta, Chile's seventh largest city on the coast of the Pacific Ocean. From there, we drove a few hours through the Atacama, the world's driest desert, to Cadelco's DMH mine. They mine the copper ore here using the world's biggest shovels and trucks. Before we see the mining, let's check out what it takes to maintain these monsters. That is sick. Finning maintains a lot of the equipment here on site. Chile is unique because the dealer here does a lot of the work on site. So this is actually the finning shop at the mine site where they maintain all the trucks and other machines. They have about 50 large 400 ton haul trucks, mostly 797 Fs, some 798 ACs that will hopefully see out in the field. They maintain shovels, they have blades, dozers, all in all about 100 pieces of equipment that they maintain to support the copper mine that's just outside these doors. So we're starting here first in the workshop. This is one of the most spacious workshops I've ever seen. It has to be big enough to lift a bed up of a 797 behind me. Mining is all about uptime, so preventative maintenance is essential. When you spend this amount of money, millions and millions and millions of dollars on a truck, you wanna make sure it runs for as long as possible. So they pull the trucks in periodically, depending on their hours for preventative maintenance. They said it takes about 12 hours to inspect the truck, change out the filters, change out any of the fluids, do whatever they need to do. If they find something more major, they will have it down for longer to make that repair before it's back out to the mine. But trucks are in and out of this shop all the time. The shop runs seven days a week, 24 hours a day to make sure these trucks are running and available as often as possible because if they're not moving or if they're not moving material, they're not making money. So keeping these things running is paramount. 797F, 400 ton truck, 250 hour service. They just pulled oil samples, so this is motor oil. This will be sent to Antofagasta for testing to make sure there's nothing in here that could be damaging the truck. They're replacing some of these hoses here to the brake system because they're wearing out. They have some filters, so not only will they take oil samples, replace filters, but they'll also replace some of the other things that are wearing out on this truck as they inspect, and then they'll get this thing out within 12 hours. We drove out to the mine. Now is the part of the video where I shut up and we just show you the cool footage of the shovels loading the 797s and 798s we just checked out at the shop. Keep in mind, this is a copper mine. All of this is dedicated to producing copper, which helps get electricity to people's homes and which is key, absolutely essential to any kind of innovation when it comes to our power grid, whether that be solar, wind, copper is here to stay. As long as human beings require electricity, this is essential stuff. This is an amazing operation. I've always wanted to see Chilean copper mining. So here we go.
We're all done here at DMH. We are gonna head back to Anafagasta. Thank you so much to Cadelco and Finning Cat for having us out to see what it takes to maintain these trucks and operate this copper to produce copper for all of society. If you're watching this using an electronic device, which there's no possible way you're not, you're using copper. This is where it comes from. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Stay dirty. <laughs>